If you want your Unity test automation to be able to mock interfaces, you'll need to add mock to our test project. The way I do this is by going into Visual Studio or another IDE and opening up the Package Manager. In Visual Studio, this is Tools, NuGet Package Manager, Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. From here, just search for MOQ and add it only to the test projects. If you don't have Visual Studio, most any IDE will carry a NuGet console line where you can enter install-package space mock. It's not case sensitive. Now, it's important to know that Unity generates the Visual Studio projects and will regenerate them later, so all changes we make to the packages from Visual Studio would seem to be for nothing, unless we gather the assemblies it imported and set them up through Unity instead. To do that, find the C-sharp project for the test project you're working with. In this example, I'm using devious.testpattern.tests.csproj. Open it up in Notepad and search for MOQ. This should find MOQ in a reference element. And you want to look at the hint path. You will notice that this added castle core MOQ system.runtime.compilerservices.unsafe and system.threading.tasks.extensions. We can see in the packages folder that we have all four packages here. Since two of them are system, we can just delete these cut or copy mock and castle core. Then in your assets folder, paste them into a folder called plugins. Your Unity project will be inundated with errors now as these packages include many different libraries for .NET versions. And Unity just sees the files and tries to load and include them. So you get lots of duplication. Looking back at the project file, we see that the hint paths actually include exactly which .NET version to use. Find those subfolders and remove the ones not for the version of .NET you use. If you find an REF folder, you can remove that too. Now, for the test assembly, it's in the assembly references. Add mock, castle core, and then save. Mock is now available for the test cases in your Unity project.